Go ahead, Brandon. Give me an update. Tornado warning continues just for southeastern Cleveland County. Brandon, it's going to be three miles to your west. Go ahead. You just dropped Brandon. We just dropped him? Yes. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead. There's a shot. Let's go back to... Cassie has a track ready. Okay, let's do a track now. Right, right, right. Let's do a track. And uh, once again, this is going to be a track on the mesocyclone, which is dropping out of Cleveland County. It's going to go into back into the panhandle of McLean County, which is going to include Rosedale over to Byers. If you live in between these cities, Byers 621, Stratford 643, Oak Grove 714, Fitzhugh 724, Hickory at about 733. Area rotations right here, right here. It's right on the Cleveland Pot County line. Okay, coming in from the northwest. Let's go back to Jim Gardner. There's your storm track on that. Wow, look at shear rate. Oh boy, look at that, look at shear rate. Okay, let's go to Jim. Jim, it's kind of ugly back in there. There's not a whole lot of definition right now, but it is a strong mesocyclone, Jim. And there is rain and, and hail for sure wrapped around this thing. Go ahead, Jim. Well, that's right, David. Right now we are eastbound along Highway 59. We'll be coming up to uh, 100th Street or Highway 133 that will be coming up to that intersection here. So that rotation is right uh, in there, David, where you see that lightning flash just happened right there. So again, we're just moving along 59 to the east here. Like I said, this is kind of pushing us to the south. It's dropping to the south here and trying to push us further south. But uh, it's wrapped up in there, David. You really can't see it, but you can really, if we pull out a little wider and show, and show the front of that and stuff, you can see how, the, like I said, the plates and the serrations go around this. But again, uh, you know, just a wicked storm, man. The hail falling out of this thing is just unbelievable. But again, uh, like I said, we're coming up to Highway 133 and Highway 59 intersection here. Looking back to the north, David, Jim Garfoyne live from Bob Mills, Scatters 9, back to you. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, Jim, it's a big storm. It's a real, real big storm, and it's going into high instability, lots of fuel. This is a mesocyclone. There's the right side of the mesocyclone, and from here, this is the base that goes up. And then we have the left side over here, but that cir circulation is right in here. So it's not like you're going to look out and see the big wall cloud hanging out of here, right? It's not going to happen. You're just going to see a wall of this. It's going to come up on you, and then we're going to get a lot of wind. Okay, let's go back to reflectivity on Link 3, and uh, look at the hook right here. By the way, you are watching News 9 at 6 o'clock. Our severe weather coverage continues. Oklahoma City, yep, we're in the clear. It's to our south, and look at the hook down here. Look at the hook with that. Okay, going to Byers for sure. All right, big, big hail coming into Truesdale. Uh, Val's there, and it looks like Val's shot is locked up. Let's see if we can't get that back up and operating. And uh, there, boy, the hook is right here. Right, moving right into the small little community of Box, Oklahoma. All right, so sliding southeast, and we'll do a storm track on that. We'll get another one going here. Big hail, folks. Tennis ball to softball size hail. Tribby, Truesdale, just really, I mean, many, many locations are just getting a terrible hail storm. All right, let's go, let's see. Um, Let's go back to Bobby Payne shot. Bobby's off to the east here, looking back to the west. And uh, Bobby, there it is. Tornado warning continues now. This is going to be for, now it's out of Cleveland County. It's now moving into southwestern Pottawatomie County, just north of the river, Bobby. It's going to be about eight miles west-northwest of you. I know you can see what's going on to your northwest, but uh, it's a mess. There's some rain and hail wrapped in it for sure. Go ahead, Bobby. Give me an update. <laughs> okay, David. This uh, mesocyclone is definitely wrapped up. Now we or a feeder band going in from the northeast into the uh, into the mesocyclone. I tell you what, it is very wrapped up, and it looks very, very ominous. It, and there is rotation. This thing is spinning pretty good right now. So uh, we're trying to get in position uh, just south of southwest of Asher and look back to the north and northwest. Back to you. Okay. All right. Great job there, Bobby and Michael Payne, doing a great job. You can see the striations here. Just tells me clearly we have a rotating thunderstorm. They go all the way up, all the way up. And uh, that thing is just doing the sit and spin, but it's actually sliding southeast down. A pretty good clip. Uh, it is moving. Okay, um, let's go back to reflectivity here, show you where the tornado was going to be. Uh, it's wrapped in rain. That's not good. It's going to be right here now. Um, let's get a bearing straight. Here's Rosedale. And um, also, we need to get uh, Jim Gardner. Greg, if we can, let's back out of this just a second here. Lace, here's Jim. Hey, Greg, if we can get... Um, Jim, a little farther south and east, down towards Byers. Yeah, keep him going southeast. He's about ready to get cut off from the wrap. We got to get him southeast down towards um, Stratford, at least down towards Byers. I don't want him in it, but I want him out ahead of it there. Great job. Thank you, Greg. Okay, so big hail, big mesocyclone, 
and uh, trackers are all over this thing. Okay, so tornado warning continues now for southwestern Pottawatomie County. There's the tornado. It's going to be right there. Uh, no reports of any damage. What does CC look like? Have you seen anything out of that? I haven't. That's propane road for folks in Winnet. I think that's out of Winnet. Okay. Um, so we're talking just a couple of miles here, for about five miles just to the northwest of Winnet, west-northwest. Yeah, here's Propane Road. That becomes east, uh, 1410. Same as Propane Road. and goes all the way to the Pot County line, the Cleveland-Pot County line. So that's the area of spin. They are lapsed at just for a second.